be with you. As the nativity of Christ draws near, our journey through Advent becomes ever more Marian. For this reason, Mary becomes our model since she is the woman blessed by God to bear the child Jesus Christ, our Savior, through the power of the Holy Spirit. That is why in today's Gospel from Luke, Mary's song of praise to God is called Magnificat, which means praise. Mary's glory to the Lord spills out of her heart after her relative Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, acknowledged her blessedness as the mother of the Messiah. With this, I would like to share with you three points. First is that God uses the weak. God chooses the poor and the lowly to bring about His plans. He even took notice of Mary's humble beginnings as a vital element for choosing the Messiah's mother instead of selecting other women with high prominence. Mary was greatly blessed but remained humble she showed us how she willingly accepted God's grace and fulfilled the mission that God entrusted her with. Each one of us has his own mission in life, and that is what we need to realize. We do not need to be proud and boastful of what we attain in life. Humility is necessary, just like Mary exemplified. Hence, this would lead to the second point that God resists the proud and favors the humble. The second point talks about the virtue of humility. Since Mary was chosen among women by God to be part of his plan. But if we look deeply at the life of Mary, she is just a simple woman. That is why she is a model of humility. God has cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. Hence, people must be humble, for God himself become lowly to the point of being born in a manger. The third point is about the vocation of Mary. The, the Magnificat is also Mary's song of praise in response to the call of God for her to be the mother of Christ. When we think of vocation, we often think of sacrifice by giving up everything to follow God. Being in our vocation journey, we realize how joyful it is that the God who called us and gave us this gift is also journeying with us. Each of us is called by God to a particular vocation, whether it is single blessedness, priestly life, or even married life. There are good in the eyes of God as each of them has its own mission in life that have a common goal of fulfilling God's will. Nowadays, this is a challenge for us who live in a digital world, a world that affects our way of discerning God's will for us. We do not even distinguish what is false and what is true. And that is because our mind is distorted by a responsible use of modern technology. If St. Augustine were alive today, he would have advised us that we must go back to ourselves in order to find the truth within us, and that truth is God himself. Today's Gospel stresses that Mary's blessedness is inseparable from her being a lowly servant of God, and that she found favor with God in her lowliness. There is no other way to joyfully receive and share God's goodness than to first recognize our lowliness before God. Hence, humility calls us to imitate Mary, a willing and humble servant of God, by serving others in the truth. Mary's songs encourages us to step back to think about our values. Indeed, this season of Advent can offer a different means of humbling ourselves by service and sacrifice.